Good morning, brothers and sisters. I hope you're having a good morning. I've been kicking around this video thinking about doing this for, since 4 o'clock this morning. It is now a few minutes after 7, so I decided to do this video about love and the love of Jesus and the Father. And I, I've been wondering for the last few days of everybody that keeps saying they love the Lord, they love the Father, but some some of you do. I can tell that in some of the comments I've gotten in, some, in the videos I have done. But there are those out there that say they love Him, but don't do the walk. And I used to be the same way. I thought I knew what love was. And come to find out, I really didn't until I come back this last time to him and started reading the Bible. I mean, really reading the Bible. And this is actually since I come back to him this this April is that is when I started reading the Bible. I've never, I've read it, but then I'd put it away. It would be like months at a time before I'd pick it up and read it again. But now I read it every day, faithfully. And the main books of the Bible that I read is the four Gospels, plus Acts and Romans. I've been stuck on them for the past couple months. I go back and forth between the four Gospels and Acts and Romans. I do Since April, I've got about 80% of the Bible, the whole Bible, read. I'd have it all read, but I just keep going back to the four Gospels and Acts and Romans and Revelations. I go back to that couple, a couple times. But... Mostly, I go to the four Gospels, I guess because it's what Jesus had done for us. His sacrifice and his love. And sometimes I wonder if people really, really understand how much love it took for him to do what he did. how much love there is so much love I can't say love enough as far as Jesus goes and his sacrifice and the blood he shed for us and I've read that the four gospels so much that now when I read it I could feel every nail in his hands. I could feel the nails, the nail that went into his feet. And I could feel every beating and thrashing he got. I feel it so much it burnt down in my soul. That is love. That I really didn't know. I really didn't. I love him so much that I ache and I desire to see him. I desire to be with him. And that's all I live for now. That's all I live for. I've seen him in my dreams. I have heard him. And his image I've seen in my dreams of him is burnt in my soul. He was magnificent. He was beautiful. And I'll never get that image out of my mind. But I do. I love him and I desire him. And he desires us to desire him. Even when I got married, I thought I knew what love was. But I think it was the idea of being married and having children. 
because I have a feeling if I knew and really believed of everything of God, of Jesus, I seriously doubt if I'd been gotten married the way I got married. Don't get me wrong, I love my husband and my children, but I think I would have done things a whole lot different. A whole lot. I did what I wanted to do, not what God wanted me to do. And if I would have just listened, paid attention, and studied, instead of worrying about what I wanted, I'd have known love a long, long time ago. Jesus, he paid the price for my stupidity and other people, he paid for them too. I'm not just talking about myself. He loves everyone and he desires nobody to go to hell. He wants everybody to love. That's what life's about, is God and Jesus and his sacrifice. Everything else is just material. It's just a means to survive temporarily. We're just passing through. And personally, I can't wait to see Jesus again. But I will be patient and wait and pray that I am still worthy to be in the kingdom of heaven with him. Because that's all I want. And that's all that I desire to do. Because I do love him. And I thank God every day for his sacrifice. It may not be out loud. It may be a silent prayer. But I thank him. And I tell him every day that I love him. And I tell him every day I seek him. I may not have the gifts of the Spirit, but I know I have the Spirit because there's no way I'd be doing videos because I couldn't do these videos on my own because I'm not a very public person at all and I'm usually a very quiet person. I just feel that everybody needs to know the love he had to give his life for us. And I hope everybody will understand and will know as much as some of us do know the love. I know I'm not this perfect Christian. I know I've backslid. I know I've done things wrong. And I wish I could take them back, but I can't. All I know is I can, all I can do is move forward and draw closer to Him. And that's what I'm going to keep doing until the end. Anyway, thank you for listening.